Hi everyone. In this example, uh, we're gonna put all the shapes we studied so far together, including the four loops, and try to solve this problem. How to print a string backwards. For example, if you have a string that says Hello Mars with an exclamation mark at the end, we're uh, gonna design a flowgorithm application that will take the string and then print out the reversed version of it. For that, we're gonna use this algorithm. We're gonna have a user message, which is gonna be equal to our Hello Mars, okay? And then we're gonna use another one, which will be uh, named as a reserved message, okay? So what we will do, we will uh, start reading the actual user message from backwards and we're gonna do it in a loop and every time we read one character because as you see the loop will work in uh, decreased order in the reverse reverse direction every time we read a letter it will add it to the reverse message and then it's gonna the second loop will read the s the third will read the r and a and M etc okay so for that we're gonna first ask the user to enter a string to reverse and then we will save it to the user message and then since I need to know how many times I had to go through the string right how many letters I'm gonna need to read that is why I'm gonna use the function <coughs> len and there's actually if you go to flow garden documentation and look into the um, in intrinsic functions, built-in functions, go down here. You see that the length function takes a string and returns its length. For example, if it takes a um, string like from one, two, three, four, it has four letters. So the length of the string is four. So we're gonna take advantage of that. Built-in function. We will use that function to figure out how many letters I need, how many symbols actually, because it doesn't have to be a letter. It could be a symbol. It could be a number, etc. And then we're gonna create a and initialize a reverse message because here it is. Every time we're gonna read a letter from the actual string, we need to add it to the reverse message. To be able to add it, we, uh, we will need an initial value, which is gonna be an empty string. Okay, and then we're gonna set up our loop. The loop will basically read the uh, a character at each loop, at each count, from a current index. So how do I do that? How can I actually read a letter in a string at a certain index? There is another built-in function that we can use, which is char, right? It will take a string and an index value, okay? And then returns the letter on that index. To give you an example, let me go down here. For example, the letter is hello. I'm sorry, the, the string is hello, right? What is an index number? In a, This is actually um, h and e and l and l and o right and that actually means that h is the index zero sits at index index zero e sits at index one l is index two and the second l and three and the last one is four so even though the length of the uh, length of the string is is I'm sorry is four let me put it down here four oh, I'm sorry uh, five letters we have okay all right then let's take this out okay but the maximum number of the indexes is four because we are always starting from zero Okay, so the length minus one will give you the last index. Okay, so we say last index is equal to length of the string minus one. Okay, so we're gonna use all these numbers and all these approaches 
in our example. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Ask user to enter a string. So we will tell the user what to do. Please enter a string, okay? And then we will use it in the save it in the user message uh, variable I'm gonna declare that variable create this variable right here and it's gonna be a string type obviously okay and then read it from the keyboard and save it to the user message okay save it to the user message now I got my uh, message stored in the user user message now I'm gonna need to use the length of the uh, message right so let's call it message length okay and then create this variable here and remove the last empty string and that is going to be an integer because as you see here any string will have all, only an integer value as length so it's a positive value positive integer value okay how do I calculate it? I mean, I'm not going to calculate it, uh, but I will use the function. The message length is equal to length of the user message I have, right? And then now I got the message length. And now we need a, another uh, variable to add our reversed string into it right because we're going to print it out at the end and also we will use it in the for loop so i'm going to create that one right here and then it will be another string obviously okay there you go now i need to initialize this reverse matches uh, message because every time i'm reading a letter from the actual string, uh, string, I'm actually doing this. Reverse message is reverse message, and whatever I read from the uh, string, right? The actual string. So it will be concatenated or merged or added to my original reverse message. If you want to, uh, you know, do any kind of operations on any variable, it has to have a you know uh, initial value I need an initial value for my reversed message as an empty spring uh, string so I didn't put in anything I just opened the double code and closed it immediately so it gives it uh, gives the reverse message as an initial value empty string okay now I'm all set now I'm going to set up a for loop which counts from the zero from zero to the message length and increasing order in step one. Why do I do that? Because I want to count backwards. I want to loop backwards in the string, right? So I will do that. I'm sorry, this is wrong. Now I'm going to add my for loop. Okay, we're putting our for loop in action in a good use here. So I'm going to use a uh, my loop counts as usual loop counts and obviously before I do that actually I need to create my loop counts right every time you use a loop you need to declare that loop count or whatever variable you want to use for your loop as an integer it's ready here okay go in that and then loop count is gonna start from in zero Wait a second, it's not going to start from zero, right? It should read backwards. So it's gonna actually start from message length minus one to read the last index. In other words, the last word, okay? So we're gonna do that, message length, okay? Was it the name? Yes. Message length minus one. We're gonna start from that. And then the end value will be obviously zero. This is the last, okay. When you're reading from backwards, you're gonna start from message length minus one, which is this guy right here. And then all the way down to zero because the first element is always the zeroth item, okay? And then uh, it's gonna, 
have decreasing direction because the message length for example for this one 4 minus uh, I'm sorry uh, 5 uh, length is 5 5 minus 1 is 4 and 4 to 0 is decreasing order and obviously I'm gonna go step uh, 1 okay and then what would I do inside the loop reading from backwards right how do I read it from backwards I will just do an assignment remember that reversed message will be equal to reversed message and and this new value that you're reading from the string right so how do I do that I'm gonna use another another uh, built-in function called uh, char right string and index number so it's gonna return a character from the string as at index i okay so whatever the index I'm reading at the moment I'm gonna add that into my reversed message so it's gonna be char and my original string what was the name of it user message okay and then my user message is here and the index value is actually the loop count right because I'm counting from the message length from uh, minus 1 to 0 that is the index right so loop count okay so once it is done when we complete this loop we will have a complete reverse message so at the end uh, we're gonna just print out the message user message and the reverse version of it so the user uh, message and I'm gonna use this uh, converted symbol I'm trying to say that okay user message a message will be converted to this okay this is what is that right here supposed to be a, a and symbol for merging strings together and then reverse message okay uh, that looks good so what do I do have what do I have here I'm starting by asking for a string and then read it from the keyboard and then calculate the message length and generate a reverse message string variable to keep the reverse message and then go into a loop and read from backwards add it to the reverse message and finally print it out on the screen so let's uh, test this okay so please answer a string how about mars oh the actual uh, example hello mars and enter voila okay it looks like it is working and one more time test it with something else one two three four five six seven eight nine zero if this is the string it should be zero nine eight seven backwards right so one more time let's try this is a test message and remove the last empty space at the end this is a test message reversed so this was a really good example I think for to use the for uh, loop in our applications just be careful how you set up your for loop you, as you see you could use, use variables in these stack values and and values because you're and also even in the steps right okay uh, because uh, they will be evaluated to a number at the end okay so don't forget about your loop counts before you go into the loop too that's it thanks for watching have a good one